Welcome to Colorado Homes and Lifestyles, where style comes home. This recording is brought to you by Aftersight, and it is intended to be used solely by individuals who are blind or have low vision. Thank you for joining us for the July-August 2023 Home of the Year issue of the Colorado Homes and Lifestyles magazine. My name is Jerry Jangra. From the editor, Home of the Year. Each year, we receive entries from interior designers, architects, builders, photographers, and homeowners for our Home of the Year competition. The homes are located throughout Colorado and are newly built, renovated, or redesigned. Our judges arrive without preconceived ideas of what makes a Home of the Year. Homes can be large or small, built for a family or for an empty nest in a metropolitan area or in the mountains. Their instructions... Choose a home that will surprise and delight our readers. The 2023 Home of the Year in the Greenwood Village area of Denver does just that. The homeowners, Nancy and Jim Lynch, travel extensively and have a second home in La Quinta, California. And they knew exactly what they wanted when designing their Colorado residence. Taking cues from five-star resorts, they designed their glamorous home with a commercial-grade kitchen as the heart of the house. Indoor spaces seem seamlessly flowing outdoors, and an expansive outdoor area with a pool and hot tub just steps out of the great room and kitchen. It's no wonder guests like to hang out, Shay Lynch, with weekend barbecues and pool parties with their children, children's friends, and children's friends' parents, the original plan for a home built with entertaining in mind. To fulfill their vision of lux living, the Lynches hired a team of experts, architect Greg Cook, builder John Rawshafer, and designers Angela Otten, Angie Hilmus, and Carla McElroy, along with a veritable troupe of craftspeople to give the bespoke home its one-of-a-kind appeal. Complete story on page 100. Also in this issue, we see the good life reflected in a mountain home with a legacy art collection, plus designer Paul Cather's Carbondale home with art that makes people think, and check out Rebecca Gart's editor-at-large tour of the trending popularity of caviar service. Cheers to La Belle Vie, Darla Worden, Editor-in-Chief. Caviar Service for All by Rebecca Gart eat. If you haven't noticed, caviar is having a moment, and restaurants around the country are responding by giving heed to this luxury food, including several in Colorado. Cretans, the Mediterranean wine bar on the Clayton Club in Cherry Creek, is now serving caviar sliders, a little bit of creamy avocado topped with Ocetra caviar in a toasted buttery roll. Loved it paired with their pepperoncini martini. The Edge, located in the Four Seasons in downtown Denver, has several new menu items showcasing caviar, including the high-low caviar and tater tots, oysters with caviar pearls, and a caviar board with unique accoutrements. Think fish-shaped waffles, egg jam, and lemon curd puree. Leave it to Clark's Oyster Bar in Aspen to showcase six different types of caviar, topping out at $370 per serving, served with warm cornbread blinis. Finally, there's Corridor 44, Denver's only champagne bar, offering a budget-friendly smoked salmon caviar chip, $12 each, in addition to its full-blown American caviar service, $100. Fresh Style, Style Maker, Connor Hall, Colorado's Director of the Office of Outdoor Recreation Industry, Political Junkie, and Community Builder, shares his favorite things. 1. Colorado Retail Store. I'm a sucker for the Wilderness Exchange, not only for the incredible deals, but also for the accessibility to often expensive outdoor equipment. Here, you could get a variety of gear at all budget levels. Wilderness Exchange, 240 15th Street, Suite 100, Denver, wildernessx.com. 
2. Workout Venue, Colorado's Great Outdoors. We are so lucky to live in a state with 22 million acres of public land, 105,344 miles of rivers, and 690 peaks over 13,000 feet. The opportunities for outdoor recreation are simply endless. 14ers.com 3. Backpack I'm a huge fan of Topo Designs, a Colorado-based company that makes backpacks, bags, and apparel. I have a Forest Green Rover Mini that I use as a distinctly Colorado take on a briefcase to haul around my work gear. Rover Pack Mini, $69, topodesigns.com. Four, my tux from Suit Supply, a Christmas gift from Senator John and Robin Hickenlooper, has served me well at many black tie events over the years. But I just bought a dark blue linen suit from Indochino and love their customization and attention to detail. Salisbury Linen Blue Suit, $499, Indochino.com. 5. Colorado Activity it's tough to pick just one because we live in an outdoor enthusiast paradise. If I have to pick, I'd say hiking in the Sangre de Cristo mountain range above my hometown of Crestone. It's one of the most dramatic and exquisitely beautiful ranges in Colorado, and there are rarely crowds. Six charity event. The annual First Descents Ball, a barn burner at the Ritz-Carlton Bachelor Gulch in Avon, is outrageously fun with unique entertainment and a rocking dance floor, but also incredibly powerful. I've never come through the event without being moved to tears. The organization consistently raises well over $1 million to support the healing of young people battling cancer or MS through outdoor adventure. FirstDescents.org. 7. Colorado Artist I'm a huge fan of Denver-based artist Scott Young, who pulls no punches in exploring things of romantic duality through his conceptual neon work. His latest exhibition, Fool, at the Ramble Hotel, incorporates AI-generated neoclassical images into his signature neon medium. It's thought-provoking, to say the least. At Scott Young Studio on Instagram. 8. Colorado Museum. My personal favorite is History Colorado. Our state has such a rich and complicated history, and this museum captures both the unique and quirky aspects of our state, such as the History of Craft Beer Exhibit, as well as important historical events such as the Sand Creek Massacre Exhibit. HistoryColorado.org. 9. Workout clothing. For general outdoor pursuits, I love my Vormi River Run hoodie. It's a lightweight merino wool sweatshirt that's durable, stylish, and versatile in many types of weather. Men's River Run hoodies, $139, Vormi.com. 10. Shoes. I wear dress shoes more than I'd like to admit. My go-to shoes are my cognac-colored Aldo Noisien. They are sleek, simple, and comfortable. Noisien W. $128. AldoShoes.com. Fresh style, art-filled living. Cathers, who worked as a fashion model in European cities like Paris, Milan, and Munich before switching to interior design more than 25 years ago. The town is a short walk away on a path next to his house. I love being attached to the town where there are sophisticated restaurants and everybody knows everybody. Even though the home is sleek and minimalist, Cather's brought in organic touches. My customers typically have homes in New York or L.A. or Florida that are more modern, and they want that feeling here, too. But I love also bringing the outdoors in. One way that nature takes center stage is through the home's many large-scale windows. It was essential to capture nature's majesty, to exhibit the serenity of wildlife, to slow down and take it all in, Cather said. Capturing the essence of the mountains in the Aspen Valley was very important to me. In addition to the beauty provided by the natural world, the house is filled with Cather's hand-picked pieces of art, starting with that Eastwood image. I love art that makes people think, he says, and I have a taste for Colorado and the Western. 
I love Western movies, and Clint Eastwood movies especially entranced me when I was growing up. That photo creates an experience as soon as you walk into the house. It's unexpected, and guests think it's cool. He chose all of the art for his home from a crocodile skull and Giacometti-esque human figures in the living room to images of clouds, Marilyn Monroe and Steve McQueen in the guest bedrooms. The way he picks pieces for his basalt home design store, Cather's home furniture and interior design. How I typically shop for the store is I just find pieces I love personally. I've always done that. I get so much satisfaction out of somebody else grasping that same feeling or experience that I do. Adhering to a less is more vibe throughout, Cather's design his own carpets, works of art in themselves to ground the rooms. We have so much going on in our lives and in our pockets, meaning cell phones, so I like to create spaces where there is not a lot going on except pops in the art or the pillows. I built this house for me. It has a gym, a resistance pool, a beautiful hot tub, and a great big garage for all of my toys. My motorcycles, my Harley, my dirt bike, my mountain bikes, my surf foils. It accommodates all of the things that I love to do that are no farther than 20 minutes away. This home is the end all for me. Fresh Style Art Filled Living The Colorado Mountain home of Betty and Stephen Newton is an art gallery. Every room is full of art, including bedrooms, bathrooms, and even closets. Betty grew up surrounded by art. Her architect father was a passionate collector. He had a brilliant eye and bought everything, from Miro, Motherwell, and Frankenthaler to total unknowns. After they were married, the Newtons lived in New York and Paris before settling in Houston, where she's a fashion designer and he's a businessman. We have some wonderful pieces from Betty's parents, says Stephen, and as we traveled, we had many unique opportunities to collect. They frequented galleries and auctions in every place they lived and began putting together a serious collection of their own. Their taste is similar, but their methods differ. I know instantly it is love at first sight, says Betty. She goes on to say that Stephen is more methodical and always has to imagine it in our home. When they are acquiring a piece, they agree most of the time. If we disagree, I usually win, says Betty with a smile. When visiting friends in Colorado, the Newtons and their two daughters fell in love with the mountains. We had never seen light like this before, says Betty. It was unbelievable. Soon they were dreaming about a mountain home of their own. They turned to to architect Tim Hagman, who had an illustrious 50-year career designing residential and commercial projects in the Roaring Fork Valley. We knew exactly what we wanted but didn't know how to get there, says Betty. Art antiques and the couple's love for a clean and blonde mid-century modern design were the dominant themes. Hagman instantly understood, and I love the way he interpreted us. After choosing an architect, the Newtons brought in Karen White, principal of basalt-based Karen White Interior Design, to help select furniture, fabrics, finishes, and four recommendations about placement for their works of art. They wanted to integrate classic elements into the simple, clean lines of their modern home, White says. The result is an effortless mix of timeless and modernist, featuring a few treasured traditional pieces. Both Stephen and I were raised in eclectic homes. And we love the juxtaposition of contemporary with antique, says Betty. Each piece has a story. The St. Michael is a colonial Mexican piece that hung in Betty's family home. I thought it was heaven and those were angels, she says. The bold Paul Kramer images over the fireplace come directly from the artist's studio. Betty's brother is best friends with the artist, says Stephen. Robert Rauschenberg's autobiography, 1968, Triptych was a Christmas gift to Betty. Stephen said, Betty, the girls are bringing up your gift. And I thought, oh no, it's a puppy because I had just lost my dog, but I was not quite ready for another, says Betty. 
She was and continues to be thrilled with the three-paneled offset lithograph that occupies a position of pride in their home. The Newton's daughters have since started collections of their own. At least once a year, we help them buy something small and meaningful, says Betty, thus making sure that art will continue to captivate and delight the next generation. Fresh Style Inspired Spaces After raising their three kids in Littleton in a traditional home, it was time for a change for homeowners who had an empty nest on the horizon. On a routine errand one day, one of them noticed a sign for a lot in the Bear Creek area of Lakewood, and she knew it had the views she wanted for a future home, so in 24 hours they had a contract on it. Working with Godin Sudik Architects, the homeowners sought an open and modern design, the opposite of their former compartmentalized home. The architects designed the new home with many windows to keep the views. My favorite aspect of the house is how much the natural light feeds into the house because of the windows and the open concept, the homeowner says. There are windows in every room to take advantage of views of the city or the mountains. When it was time for the interior design team of Rogan Adams Design to make this house a home, they too found inspiration in the outdoors. We tried to bring the outdoors in by using an earthy color palette and selecting textures, wood tones, and stone that that can be found in nature, says designer Kristen Adams. They wanted a very modern house, which can sometimes feel cold and sterile. By using different textures, wallpaper, and earthy neutral colors, we were able to create a very warm home for them. The homeowner is the first to admit that she couldn't see the potential of wallpaper and walnut in the future design. I don't have an eye for any of that, she concedes. They put a green velvet couch that is stunning in that space, and they had the idea for the walnut table, the walnut in the mantle, and in the wine closet. We are super happy with the outcome. Being able to incorporate treasured family furniture was part of the collaboration between the designers and the homeowners. We worked with them to select some of the antiques to incorporate into their modern design, says Adams. The large armoire in the office, which is French 18th century, and the bar off of the primary bedroom were the client's family heirlooms, many from New Orleans. These pieces have been in the family for many generations. The designer also got to have some fun with the homeowner's love of music and their family food business. It was very important to them to have a chef's kitchen to showcase their love of food, cooking, and entertaining, explains Adams. The layout of their house provides great entertaining space both inside and out. Just like those incredible mountain panoramas, the design of the home has intentional expansiveness that delights the homeowners. We can be in the space together without stepping onto each other's toes, the homeowner says of the kitchen and entertainment spaces. In the summer, we open those slider doors and it becomes one giant space where we bring the inside out. Fresh Style Cozy Abodes The Snug House, built in 1901, was renovated to make the best creative and efficient use of this existing space. Facelift Inside and Out. Story, Anne Hebert. Photos, Eleanor Williamson. Jake Swanton and Kyle Bouquetis were set on finding a Victorian home, and they acted swiftly when a Denver Sunnyside residence came on the market. The major selling point for us was that the house just had really good bones and lots of character, says Bouquetis. The home was situated on a corner lot with ample yard space. The interior had a large formal dining area, but the living room and kitchen were smaller than they wanted. There was only one full bath upstairs and a powder room on the main floor and the closets were oddly sized and created under utilized space. The couple wanted to reconfigure the existing space for maximum livability and appeal. To achieve their goals, they hired Momo Wong of Momo Wong Design to help guide them through the major renovation, creatively using every square foot as efficiently as possible. The home's renovation included opening the kitchen and dining area to create a larger living space, an ensuite primary retreat.
with a second full bath upstairs, updating the guest bedroom and adding an office space. To respect the age of the home, a lumber-framed opening to the kitchen was incorporated to meet structural requirements. The kitchen now sports custom walnut cabinetry, quartz counters, and a blue and white tile backsplash that adds sophistication and whimsy to the space. Cement pendant lights finish the look. The small but mighty primary bath includes black framed glass in the shower, surround to create visual interest. A skylight provides natural light and perceived height in the shower. Rustic looking tile flooring and a mid century inspired walnut vanity combine with grass cloth window treatments and wall sconces to give the room character and appeal. The new main floor office space and powder room offered a perfect opportunity to have a little fun. Wong says they found unique wall coverings that are sure to be noticed. In the powder room, toile de joie patterned wallpaper looks traditional from afar but depicts playful alien abduction scenes up close. In the office, quirky drunk monkeys wallpaper makes an amusing statement. Outside, the landscaping needed a refresh to better accommodate the new owner's lifestyles, so the front walkway was cleared of foliage and the large vegetable gardens were pared down to take less time to tend. Jake and Kyle already had a lovely diverse collection of art, furniture, and plants, Wong notes. We incorporated it into the new design, creating layers of depth and interest throughout. The philosophy behind the renovation was straightforward. Keep things simple, but incorporate eclectic touches reflecting the personalities of the owners. Jake and Kyle knew this was going to be their home for a really long time, says Wong. The goal was to make this a place they would cherish. Fresh style. Indoor, outdoor, a new point of view. A couple relocating from New Jersey find their focus on the front range with the help of Truss Interiors. Story by Laura Bosira. Photos, Emily Minton Redfield. Sometimes a new view deserves a fresh vantage point. That was the approach a couple from New Jersey embraced when they renovated their village at Castle Pines home with sweeping front range vistas. After moving from a traditional East Coast home and leaving most of their furniture behind, they were ready for a more modern setting to start their next chapter in Colorado. When they purchased the two year old house in late 2020, they called Denver based Truss Interiors to help bring their vision to life. We loved the style of the home, which is considered to be a Colorado ranch with a lot of main floor living and then going down to a walkout lower level, which is mostly recreation and entertainment, the homeowner says. Julie Ray, founder and lead designer at Truss Interiors, focused on the main floor interiors and both levels of outdoor living spaces. There are these vast, expansive views because they're kind of set up into the hillside, Ray says. They wanted something that would bring the outdoors in. With an open floor plan and big glass doors and windows at the rear of the house, there's a clear line of vision from the fort front door all the way through to the mountains. It looks almost like a picture frame, the homeowner says. With the living, dining, and kitchen areas intermingled, their design elements needed to harmonize. But how? I knew I wanted a cohesive look that flowed from one section of the house to the other, but I didn't know exactly what I wanted that to look like, the homeowner says. I told them I didn't want anything traditional, but I didn't want anything super modern, she recalls. I was looking for a style that was welcoming and comfortable, yet a little bit elevated, and I didn't want something so fancy that people were afraid to sit down anywhere. Ray and her team suggested enhancements including textured wall coverings, new furniture, and updating lighting to refresh the spaces. All the furnishings were to be reflective of their more casual, elegant style, Ray explains. Since the homeowners preferred a neutral color palette with pops of color, the designers infused the interiors with shades of blue and green inspired by the home's natural surroundings. 
they get these tremendous bluebird sky views day in and day out. So blue seemed like a very logical color to bring into the spaces, Ray says. Then, to bring an element of the indoors out, she also made sure to blend neutral tones into the outdoor furnishings. The west-facing upper and lower decks now function as extensions of the indoor spaces, and the homeowners like to open the living area's sliding doors to create one free-flowing room. Ray created outdoor seating arrangements configured for social gatherings, yet focused on the mountain views, and she carefully selected pillows, rugs, plants, lamps, tables, and accessories that can withstand the sun and the elements. Now, the home welcomes nature year-round. We're able to see storms roll in in the summer, and I feel like we live in a snow globe when it's snowing, the homeowner says. But an evening spent on the deck might be the best time of all. We have amazing sunset views from this house, she says. When we have people visiting, they're usually out there snapping pictures, and they can't believe what they're seeing. Thank you for joining us for the July-August 2023 Home of the Year issue of Colorado Homes and Lifestyles magazine. My name is Jerry Jengra. You've been listening to Colorado Homes and Lifestyles, where style comes home. If you enjoyed this program, please register for our free services at www.aftersight.org or by calling 303-786-7777.